Hello everyone, I'm MoverNerd14, and this is everything you need to know about the upcoming Fellowship event. This brand new event starts on Thursday, July 28th, and brings with it what is one of my favorite looking buildings in the game, the Hero's Tavern. This building is 5x4 and provides up to a 21% attack and 27% defense for attacking army's boost, alongside a solid production of 11 forge points. This results in a 0.55 forge points per tile efficiency, and it has up to a 1.05 attack per tile and 1.35 defense per tile efficiency. So all around it's a pretty nice building. It also has the added bonus of a little knight that will wander around your city. Additionally, there's two brand new buildings that you can win besides the tavern, and those are the knight's pavilion and the flower maidens, both of which are 2x2. Two two. The knight's pavilion will produce 2 units and 5 goods daily and the Flower Maidens provide up to a 9% defense boost for attacking armies and 3 forge points daily. The Flower Maidens is mildly hard to get, but I'll explain more on that later. As far as the event minigame goes, it plays like the soccer, football, and spring events where you choose one of three options to move to and progress down the field. Like these events, each fellow has a different reward, different chances to win the daily special, and moves you a different distance further. I'll put up charts showing the most efficient fellows for winning daily specials, both boosted and unboosted. Unfortunately, Inno is rebalancing the distances that the fellows will travel in the event, so I don't yet have info on the cost per distance efficiency. Once I do know, I will pin a comment down below with that up-to-date information. You'll have the option of choosing one of five heroes, which are similar to coaches from the football event, that will boost your gameplay in some way. They each offer bonuses such as doubling rewards, increasing the chances of a daily special, or more. The ultimate hero provides all the rewards of the other heroes for the cost of 150 diamonds per 24 hours. Each hero can be used for 24 hours before reverting back to the default with a 24 hour cooldown for each, except for the default and ultimate heroes. If you're planning to use the ultimate coach, I would recommend trying to purchase it at a time where it can span 2 days of daily specials, so you can get that little extra bit of boost from it. Like the previous wildlife event, this event brings back the event pass feature, where, for the price of 1200 diamonds, you can get some extra rewards. Unfortunately, there are still no main building upgrades included in the pass, so it won't help you too much with buying more event buildings. While much of it will be just antique dealer fodder, the one thing of note is that it's the only place in the event where you can receive the flower maidens, and you can only receive one. It won't appear as a daily special or as a grand prize reward, so if you want it, it'll cost 1200 diamonds. One more reminder though, since there's an event pass, that means you'll have to manually claim all your grand prizes. So before the event ends, make sure you have claimed everything. It won't be given to you otherwise. This event will bring back the Suishin Mill and Hanami Bridge kits, as well as the Stage of Ages, as daily specials. The Checkmate Square, Winner's Plaza kits, and Sentinel Outposts, and their upgrades will also be up for grabs. So there's something for everyone in this event. Additionally, you'll be able to receive some pretty nice looking avatars in this event. The first two on screen can be won from the quest line, the third can be gained from the event pass, and the last will be available in the league rewards, if you place in the highest league, along with some other prizes that you can see on screen now. And with that, if you have any questions about the event, please leave a comment. I've linked both the forum announcement for the event, as well as the fan wiki page in the description down below. This video is a little longer than my other ones, so please tell me what you thought. If you want to see me cover more events like this, please leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you subscribing. See you next time!